Another migrant shelter here in the city confronted by another protest and counter protest this time outside the Manhattan College where city officials plan to turn a former dorm into temporary housing, temporary emergency housing. These protests happening as asylum seekers are now only permitted to stay in the temporary housing for 30 days. Fox 5's Briella Tom, excuse me, Fox 5's Stephanie Bertini has the details. This woman and her little boy came to the United States seeking asylum. They're currently living in emergency housing set up by the city. In Brooklyn. She says when asked how long she can stay or where she will go next, no, no sé. I don't know, she said. She is one of many uncertain about the future living in New York City, a sanctuary city that hasn't turned any of the asylum seekers away. <laughs> Today, more evidence of the pushback from some local New Yorkers. Protesters in the streets over talks of former Manhattan College dorm located in the Bronx, specifically in Riverdale, might soon be turned into another emergency shelter for migrants. Fox 5 News reached out to officials to confirm no response yet. I don't know what's going on, but I know this is wrong. They're bringing migrants in that haven't been vetted, and we have families all around here. Anti-protesters speaking up too. Migrants have done nothing to anybody. They deserve to have a place to live anywhere. Here is great. Anywhere is fine. Homeless rights attorney with the Legal Aid Society, Stephanie Rudolph, weighs in. New York City has had a right to shelter since the 70s due to litigation. And that litigation interpreted the state constitution to say that everybody should have a bed to sleep in every night, no matter what. And our city, state, and, lo and federal laws prohibit discrimination on the basis of one's immigration status. City officials have said the resource Forces are thin again and again, asking the feds and the state for more assistance. Prior to this migrant crisis, where so many new people are coming to coming to New York City, there were over 50,000 people in shelter. But because of how many people have passed through New York or come to New York, that number has more than doubled. And the city has created two parallel shelter systems. Meantime, the mayor just added a policy for adult migrants living in emergency shelters. It's a 30 day maximum now in any given shelter. The mayor said in a statement, it's another step in our efforts to help asylum seekers take the next step in their journeys. Some migrant advocates don't like the new policy. Others say the burden on homeless shelters is already evident. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Stephanie Bertini. Good day, New York.